Ja, geschätzte Kolleginnen und Kollegen, so, dear colleagues, welcome to our post-match press conference with our head coach, Vladimir Petkovic. I would like to ask you to raise up your virtual hand to ask a question. Let's start with Etienne Viema. Etienne, hello. Hello, Etienne. He disappeared. Versuchen wir es beim nächsten und zwar Massimo Solari. Massimo Solari. Good evening, Vlado. And unfortunately, regardless of everything, I think that we can't complain about a team that put its own heart in the game. So it was probably penalized by probably a referee on the match that ruined the second half in which we were playing very well. Yeah, there are a bit of things. First of all, congratulations to Spain because they tried everything and then they won in penalties. So I am also very proud of my team and all the players. So unfortunately, you know, a red card like this, you know, this affected our game for 45 minutes. But all these players were the heroes of the night, so they also deserve them we. Would have deserved to get to the semi finals, but unfortunately, we were tied. So, when you shoot penalties, tiredness is a part of it. So, I cannot complain about anything. I just, you know, take my hat off to the uh, team. Mr. Petkovic, how do you feel like? How are your emotions? Well, mixed, I can say. Of course, a lot of pride. Just because we know that we gave our best everything we had. And we can we leave here with our heads held high. All the players, they can be so proud the team, the whole team, but on the other side, we were so close to the semi-finals, this doesn't happen to every year or every competition, so that's why it's a little bit mixed feelings, but more positive than negative feelings. Negative just because we have to leave and are eliminated. Javier Caceres, next, please. Hello, Petkovic. Hello Mr. Petkovic. I would like to ask you to give me your opinion about Manuel Akanji, who missed the penalty, and Jan Sommer, and ask you how is Rumbar Vargas doing, who missed the penalty as well. Well, heroic this evening. Over 120 minutes, all heroes to make it so far, to make it into the penalty shootout, it doesn't matter. I mean, at the end, Jan did, wasn't lucky at the end with his saves and to help the team. We're all tired and we just missed our penalties. I don't blame them for them, nothing negative about that. For all, and Vargas, he's okay. He has to take his lesson. I'm very proud of him because in this difficult moment where we all physically were just down and tired to have this mental power to take a penalty. Thomas Schifferle, next, please. Noch stumm. Can't hear you. Good. Thomas Schifferle hat sich selbst rausgekickt. Thomas Schifferle, okay, he kicked himself <laughs> out. Yeah, Thomas, bitte then, Thomas, please again. Can you hear me? Yes. 
Vladimir, guten Abend. Vladimir, good evening. Was ist bei dir größer in diesem Moment? What der is bigger? The pride in you of the fight of Lage. your team or the disappointment uh, after having lost? Well, I'm always positive. Wir haben so viele positive Aspekte auch we heute Abend gesehen. Da can and we sh we saw Leider so many positive aspects in our game, but unfortunately we have to go back home, but with Sebastian, our heads held bitte, high. Sebastian, please again, Mr. Petkovic, can you tell us about the, something about the red card? What is your opinion about it against the Remo Freuler? Well, I uh, didn't really see it, and I haven't uh, watched it after the match either, the situation, but I think it was too hard. In England, you... Uh, maybe it's a foul, but never a red card. It's uh, yeah, a question a little bit, actually, to be true. But uh, Remo, okay, with his foot, but uh, he maybe touched him slightly, but I think at the end it was just a, a hard decision. And unfortunately, for over 40 minutes, we were and had to play with one man down against such an opponent who already 11, 11 against 11 keeps well the ball, have a lot of ball possession, so it was very difficult for us. But what I said already, what we showed tonight was really, we can be proud of it and we, can, we are eliminated here with our heads held high. Etienne, please. Vlado, good evening. Two Vlado, good evening. Two questions. First, how much uh, did Granit Xhaka, the captain, miss, and what did he try to tell to his team colle colleagues uh, in half time and uh, the break before extra time? And uh, overall, the Euro, what is your opinion about it? Well, for the Euro, it's difficult to talk about it. Of course, at the end, it was positive, all in all. Sensational, fantastic development. Who have been shown by the team and Granit. He uh, was totally with the team, he tried to support and help with his words, with his positive energy, but tonight and in, at this tournament in general, all the 26 uh, players deserve great credit. Next question. Christian Brecker, please. Mr. Betkovic, I would like to know. You are in the middle mid circle. What what did you say to your players before such a penalty shootout? Well, already before the penalty shootout, they are our heroes because they have achieved so much already. Now you have to find your last power, last energy to make it, to succeed. But we were lacking a little bit of this energy at the end, not all the players, but penalty shootout is always a lottery. And this time we lost it. Next question to Italy. Von der Emanuele La Gamba, La Repubblica, please. It doesn't work, looks like so. Next one. Stefan Wies, bitte, Stefan. Stefan Wies, please. Good evening, Mr. Petkovic. One question to your system that you played at the beginning. You started with the four back, back four, a system that you have played before, two or three years ago. Why did you pick this system? Absence of Granit Xhaka or because of your opponent? Well, I was a little bit surprised because... Uh, I mean, we've played the system before. We changed between uh, back three, back four, back five. And if you analyze matches, for example, the one against France, we played the same way. But what we changed is after the red card, after we booked the red card, of course, we played in a classical 4 4 1. 
with a lot of runs, with a lot of uh, contact, a lot of willingness until the end to, yeah, trying to beat our opponent. Okay. Technical problems here, but two last questions. Mr. Ivan Sitkov, please, for which media do you work? And please ask a question. Uh, Petkovic, uh, Mr. Petkovic, uh, your third time uh, here in St. Petersburg. Boys. You were here with young boys before and then with the Swiss national team at the World Cup. First question, what can you tell us about our city? And the second, did you hear some of anything about Zenit St. Petersburg that uh, they are interested in you? Well, it's a beautiful city, that's for sure, but uh, Today we didn't leave the pitch, unfortunately, as the winner, but it's a beautiful stadium where we showed excellent performance over 120 minutes. And, of course, we always want in all the beautiful big stadiums that there are to do well, because this means that we are at a big tournament and uh, this is what happens uh, tonight. One question from Italy. Emanuele Gamba, La, Repu La Repubblica, please. Can you hear me? Good evening, can you hear me? I would like to ask you. In the initial phase, you lost 3-0 against Italy which could probably go against Spain in the superfinals. So, do you think that there is a bit of difference between Spain and Italy? Because with Spain you played uh, a great game while you lacked a bit against Italy. Well, against Italy we, we weren't us. But, however, this gave us the possibility of, you know, reuniting, of growing and to become the team that knows what we want to do and in these three games we proved that against big opponents that we have a good style of play that we have determination and that as a team we can you know play against bigger opponents than us and we can play very well against them and we can always win a game thank you very much much and uh, have a nice evening you all goodbye